The guesswork about Scorn is over. After countless delays, the adventure, the horror game, the ego shooter is finally here. For PC and Xbox Series X users, even in the Game Pass. But the guessing around Scorn is just starting now. The game is an experience. Fascinating and often disgusting at the same time. Like a single big fever dream of the alien designer H.R. Giga. After 6 hours, at least that's the time I needed for my first playthrough, I've seen a lot, admired a lot, but didn't understand a lot. Scorn doesn't really give answers, but it leaves a lot of room for interpretation. It's a giant piece of art with magnificent pictures, but it's not really a good game. But it's still one of the most interesting game experience of this year, so if you have the stomach for it, you should definitely play it. Unlike other games, Scorn doesn't need words, there's no voices, no dialogues and no text. We are exploring a mysterious alien world, although the only alien are we, as a spectator. The creatures we are steering are residents of this planet of some kind, who live in a weird symbiosis with the biomechanic constructions of this world, or survive, being reborn. That's only the start of the interpretation possibilities. Gameplay wise the game remains rather shallow. We run through a lot of halls, stumble across branched regions which at first glance seem like there are multiple solutions, but most of the time they are just dead ends, until you finally find the next lever, puzzle or the next glowing point for your door remote that lets you progress. Sometimes there are fights as well, but these are actually the biggest weakness of Scorn. They are shallow, frustrating and just straight up boring. But you can avoid them most of the time, because the enemies are more like animals on this planet, who don't bother you if you don't bother them. Which you should, because ammunition for the weapons in the game is pretty rare, same goes for the medkits, which look pretty disgusting, like everything else in the game. So fleeing or simply restraining is the best choice in most of the fights. But Scorn also has one of the most frustrating, slow, and boring boss fights that I've experienced for a long time, and you can't avoid that one. Although it gets tedious sometimes, it is worth it when you get to see these pictures after. Because Scorn is just unbelievably beautiful, and after playing the game I still haven't seen enough of all the incredible details and architecture in the game. What's also worth mentioning is the awesome sound of the game. I can only recommend playing it with headphones on. You won't regret it. Scorn is solid performance wise. I didn't have any problems at all. No lags, no bugs or anything. So that's completely fine. And it also runs pretty smoothly on my old computer. Different than assumed, Scorn doesn't support direct storage on the PC. Although it should have been the first game for this technology, it is only supported on the Xbox Series X. But also without it, the loading times are still quick enough. Oh, and before I forget it, there is no adjustable difficulty for this game. So I have to disappoint everyone who just wanted to play a better walking simulator with a few puzzles. So if you already have the game pass and a bit of time in hand, there is no reason not to try the game out. And trust me, you won't forget it so soon.